So, Bob, it seems to me that uh, Donald Trump being the top of the ticket, he seems to be uh, destroying the Republican Party. They seem to be fracturing. Um, my theory was that uh, it would actually be uh, that there's a chance. I don't know if this is for sure, but I had a theory that it would be a chance that if Donald Trump became president, it would actually be a positive for the progressives because, A, he puts an ugly face on the horrible policies of neoliberalism and they're easy to oppose. Whereas if Barack Obama, who is right now pushing the TPP, he puts a nice face on the TPP. He splits the natural opposition to it, meaning the Democratic Party. And so we're actually worse off with a guy like Barack Obama, whereas if with a clown like Donald Donald Trump, you could stand up against him and he fractures his own party. What do you think about that theory? I think you're a very brave man. I, <laughs> I think there's a lot of truth to what you're saying, and, uh, and you're going to get your head handed to you for saying it, you know, because, uh, it, it, that, it, the, you know, it's funny. Jerry Brown once when he was running, uh, you know, when Bill Clinton was running against Bob Dole, and Jerry Brown had taken Clinton on back there. Oh. Uh, 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 you know, Jerry Brown uh. said, it's not the lesser of two evils, it's the evil of two lessers. And, and it's really a, an enormous trap. First of all, I think that, that Trump did a great thing in exposing uh, the Republican leadership to their own base. Uh, these people never cared about ordinary folks. These trade agreements that were made by both Democrats and Republicans screwed everybody except the, the elite, uh, and, and Trump called them out. He explained where their money goes, he explained it's all for sale, and he said, yeah, I'm corrupt, and, and you all are even more corrupt, you know, because all you do is collect the money, you don't even create anything. And, and so this was a refreshing thing. The thing that scares people about Trump is quite legitimate, uh, and it really is basically that finger on the nuclear button. And, and, you know, Hillary Clinton made a lot of it. You have four minutes to decide. Well, why does any president have four minutes to decide whether we're going to destroy life on this planet? That's what the, the, you know, mutual assured destruction, that's hair trigger alert. We're still on that. Why? We don't have the Soviet enemy. Why, why did we, we knew uh, Nixon went crazy in the White House. We knew uh, Ronald Reagan forgot, didn't even know he was in the White House at the end. Uh, we know we've had presidents become drunk and nutty and everything. Why did any American president uh, get to decide whether life continues on this planet in four minutes? Yeah, it's dangerous to have Trump in. I think it's dangerous to have Hillary Clinton in there doing that. You know, what's the justification for it? And we're still not having a discussion about, you know, why are we modernizing our nuclear weapons? Uh, why are they on hair trigger alert? Why are we, by the way, taking on Putin, the one person in the world you need on your side if you want to control nuclear weapons? And everybody's forgetting he's got almost half the, the arsenal, you know, just like we do. And, and the idea that somehow we're demonizing Putin, you know, and we think we can screw around in the Ukraine, screw around everywhere, extend NATO, do all the stuff we've done with, with the Russians. And then, then we're surprised the guy's popular over there. And, and uh, now they're going to demonize him. That's very scary in terms of the nuclear issue. Yeah, it's scary to have Trump anywhere near that kind of decision making. But it's pretty scary to have an a, a unrepentant hawk like Hillary Clinton uh, throwing her weight around, you know. And if you read her book, uh, after being Secretary of State, she was much more hawkish than Obama. And if you look at the mess she's created in, in you know, Syria and Libya and so forth, uh, it, it, you know, it's a horrible precedent. Uh, there is something clarifying. I think your point is well taken. There's something clarifying about having this nutcase uh, be the Republican candidate because their program is a nutty one. You know, it's based on a big lie uh, that somehow by caring about religion and values and, you know, family, uh, you're, you should line up behind Wall Street, which has destroyed those values and family and the well-being of people. That was the lie of the Republican Party was Nixon's sudden strategy. I think it's over now. I mean, they've been exposed. Uh, and the religious right, by the way, is the main uh, victim of Trump's campaign. Nobody ever seems to mention that, that whole pretense of the Republican Party to, you know, these proper Christian values has been exposed because you got this, you know, degenerate running. Mm -hmm.